Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another video. Now, I know it's been a little while since I've been filming but I'm back and I'm going to be doing a few interviews here and there, a couple vlogs. I'm kind of just going to be planning what I'm going to do. I'm not quite sure what direction I'm going in yet but it's going to be exciting to kind of see what happens. And anyway, today's the video. I'm doing an interview. I'm interviewing two amazing dancers who recently competed on Britain's Got Talent and we're going to be talking about what their experience was like on the show how they kind of form their routines and overall what it was like meeting the judges and being on the show. So today, Icy and Romeo will be joining me. Hey guys, it's your boy Romeo and I'm 21. My name is Icy and I'm 20 and together we're... Romeo and Icy. Romeo and, Icy. <laughs> and we have just came back from the BGT 2023 semi-finals. Yep. Yeah, thank you both for joining me. It's going to be exciting to talk about your time on Britain's Got Talent and kind of learn a bit more about you and what you do. So to start off the interview, I wanted to know, why did you decide to audition for Britain's Got Talent in the first place? So I got a DM from a person called Deja Vu. Um, his name's Jan, and he was one that saw the potential of me and Icy. And then I ignored it for a few months. But then there was this one day where I just like, I looked at the DM and I was like, you know what, like, he keeps nagging about it. So, you know what, let me talk to Icy. And then from when I spoke to Icy, he was like, you know what, let's just give it a go and just have fun and see where we go. And then from there, it was like, yeah, let's do it. And then we was watching like diversities, performances, twists and posts. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like inspired us to actually want to actually go on the show. So from then, we just said, you know what, let's just have fun and not take it too seriously. I mean, from the performances, you know, audition and semi-final, it's like, we were just there to have fun, really. We didn't really take it too seriously. Like, I see people comparing us to, like, Twist and Pulse and, you know, other crazy dance acts, but we we were purposely not technical. We just made it fun. So, you know, the job is kind of a fun time audience. That's why, that's why the audience really loved us, because we just had fun, chose songs that they knew as well. And, yeah, we just had fun. Yeah, it certainly gave that vibe. It gave a fun feel, which is definitely good to come across in your audition. And talking of like yeah. going to the audition, how long had you two been working together before you decided to audition for the show? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's like, we've, I think we've been a duo for like five years. Is that right, Romeo? Romeo? Yeah, duo for five years and then friendship for like 10 years. Oh, that's yeah. good. It's good to yeah. kind of hear your backstory and that you've been working together for so long and it, your relationship definitely came across in the show. You could tell you were great friends and that you've known each other yeah. for a while. Um, so the first audition, um, well, the first TV audition, I should say, you got to perform in front of four very exciting people, the four judges who were very well known. Um, so what was it like getting to perform in front of those people? Was it scary, nerve wracking or exciting? It was... I mean it was a different experience. I don't know. It was like, because we went in there with like Simon Cowell, that was like the main person that we cared about, Simon Cowell, because he was like the guy that if you didn't get on his side, then it was like it, everything was right. She was not going through. He wasn't, he wasn't going to get contend or anything. But then we saw um, Bruno as a new judge as well that came in for this um, year. And we were like, okay, cool. That's a person that knows about dancing. So that was another guy that we wanted to kind of get his eyes as well. I'm um, not saying we didn't care about Amanda or Alicia, but I think they were the two least judges that we didn't really want to focus on more, let's say. And in terms of nerves, um, throughout the whole day, we weren't nervous, but when it got close to the actual performance, um, like like a minute before going on stage, we felt the nerves. Like, it was like natural nerves. Um, like, my heart was pounding a bit, but as, as soon as we walked on, everyone started clapping. I was like, this is chill. We just We just did our thing. We just had fun, and yeah. So not too many nerves. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like when the audience kind of gives you that first cheer, it kind of gives you a boost. You yeah. feel a bit more safe in some ways. And yeah, I, I definitely get what you mean about the judges. Like, obviously, Simon's opinion can be very influential to everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, so when you went on to the audition, we obviously saw you do your amazing dancing. But for somebody mm -hmm. who was watching, I expect a lot of people were thinking, how long does it take to put something like that together? Because it looks very complicated and it looks like it takes quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say it didn't take us long because in the audition it was more so that we showed uh, like our viral like TikTok dances, so we really kind of knew the routine off by heart. I guess some of the routines that we did was like there was two routines we did that didn't showcase on the actual show, 
or mm-hmm. onto YouTube where we were freestyling and actually doing like crazy footwork and being technical. So that that was taking a while because that's what we had to get in sync. But that was because we really knew what we were doing and we was kind of showing people like, you know, we came from TikTok to here is like, it wasn't, didn't take too long. It was probably like a week practice, I would say. Yeah, because it came from, you know, dances we've had, you know, back in the day. We, we, we It's not like we made something completely new. It was like all TikToks that we just put together and yeah. Yeah, it's good to kind of showcase the things that obviously people have seen you do online and it was just really cool to see all the different moves you put in you could tell that um, obviously when you first created them they would have taken a while to put together but it was really good to see them um so after the first audition obviously the judges loved you the audience loved you and you managed to get to the semi-finals so how did you feel when you found out that you were going through to the semi-finals oh that was i remember i got a phone call <coughs> And when I got told, I was speechless. I was like, because I told Romeo, I was like, bro, I don't think we're getting through. Um, and then when, I, then when we got told we're getting through, I'm like, I had to call Romeo straight away. I was like, bro, we got through. Then, you know, we had a little moment there where we were both just like, wow, like, this is crazy. He just couldn't believe it. And then, and then we were like, okay, what now? We got to make like a whole new routine. So, and yeah. The maddest thing was, is like, he told me and I was in the cinema with my girlfriend and I just had to like, I had to hold in like the excitement because I didn't want to scream or yell or anything. So as soon as like I got, came outside the cinema, I was like asking, I was double chance, like, are you sure when it's like, because he said the live shows, but for me, I haven't watched Business <laughs> Channel a lot. So I thought, I was like, what well, do you mean the live show? Do you mean like our oh, auditions going on live? And then he was like, oh, it to the semi. I was like, no, bro, we didn't. And then we, I had to double check with our producer. And then he was just like, yeah, you made it to the fame finals. And that's when I started like this. All that excitement just got let out on the streets of where I live. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine the excitement would have been massive. And, you know, the live shows are very different to the auditions. It's kind of like the auditions is the introduction in some ways to the acts. And the live shows are very, like, grand in some ways. Because you have the biggest stage, you have the set, you have the extra dancers and the singers. So did you kind of feel that difference between the audition and the semifinals? Yeah, definitely. There was, there was just way more production, you know, involved. And, you know, we had the lights, we had like the backup dancers helping us. We had um, that, that, the different outfits and stuff. So, yeah, there was just way more to the semi finals uh, than the auditions. And did you prefer one or, one or the other? Did you prefer the audition or the semi final? Semi final, 100%. Semi semi finals. I don't know what it was. It was like, I would say low key the audition, though, because. The energy I felt from the crowd, like I'm not saying the energy from the crowd was bad in the semis, but in the audition, like you could tell, like these lot didn't know us, so they didn't, they didn't really get to like understand us. Like in the same finals, everyone knew we were going to be on the stage, everyone knew that everyone's energy is ready to be hyped up. But for audition wise, no one knew. So when we got on the stage, everyone was clapping and cheering us, and even cheered us to even get through, like with three yeses. Um, I felt that energy, but it's definitely the semi finals overall production wise, but crowd wise. I don't know, the audition kind of got to me. I just felt everyone's energy. I mean, if we're, yeah, if we're talking about crowd, then the audition is definitely better. But dancing-wise, like um, the semi-final, like, the, the dance routine itself, I prefer the semi-final one than the audition. Yeah. Uh, it's good that both had kind of pros and in some ways cons, but I'm sure that it was both, they're both overall fantastic. And I know this is going to be a hard question, but if you could pick like one moment from your experience on the show, what would be your favourite? I would say personally, um, it was the semi finals on the day and then me and I see was out and about and we went to go see our parents and then everyone saw us like queuing up outside and then everyone just wanted to take pictures of us and that kind of, that was kind of my highlight because it was like these people are coming to watch us and we just wanted to give back to the people, take pictures, conversate with people. So I feel like for me, that was my highlight because I know that we made a lot of people's days and with the acts, other acts, I know they were busy focused on like their performances, but for us, we was like, let's just talk to people, let's just have fun, enjoy this because it's a one time thing, you're not going to get this again. So, yeah, I'll definitely say taking pictures with people, like the best part. Yeah, I agree because we've had fans, we've had people take pictures of us in the past, but it was like a group of people did it. So, other, so we just got crowded with like a lot of people and they, they started taking pictures too, but it wasn't because they knew us, they just did it because everyone else was doing it. On that semi final day, like they took pictures with you because they love you, you know, because they're a fan of you and they knew us. So 
that was like a different feeling. And yeah, I'll definitely agree. Like taking pictures with, with everyone was like the best part of the whole, the whole thing. Oh, that's good that you both kind of gave the time to the crowds because obviously, like you said, especially in the first audition, they kind of gave you that um, extra push. So, yeah, it's really good to hear that. And I went and watched Britain's Got Talent last year. I couldn't go this year, which is a shame. But last year, it was just nice to kind of have those few acts which came out and took photos with the crowd because it just it means a lot, I guess, both both to us and to the act themselves as well. Um so earlier on, we were talking about your first audition and you kind of touched on this, but did you have a favourite judge to perform in front of? Sam McCall. <laughs> right, I would, I would I'll say Sam McCall. I was going to say first Alicia until she started giving us, like, <laughs> I don't know, not even Alicia, she ain't bad. I think she just didn't understand that what we were trying to do and still, no, I don't Alicia, think... Alicia, yeah. in her mind, she was, she was just expecting more. She was expecting, like, twist and pose kind of dancing and... I feel like she was just comparing us with other dance acts, but we just came to have fun. And Simon saw that. Simon literally said, you guys are fun and this is what the show is all about. Like, Simon understood, but someone like Alicia and Bruno, I mean, Bruno in the semifinals, he ended up, you know, saying, oh, you guys stepped up. Um, but in the audition, they both were just expecting more, like, more technical dancing. And we kind of gave, gave them that in the semifinals. Not too much. We were just trying to keep the fun side for, for Simon. We were trying to, like, balance it out. But, um, and yeah, but definitely Sammy Cowell was my, was my favourite yeah, judge. Yeah, I mean, he, he is the most iconic judge, arguably. Yeah, um, yeah. And what I do like about that is that you stay true to yourselves. You did the dance that you wanted to do, which I think is good because yeah. I think doing something that you're going to enjoy is definitely better than doing something that someone else is dictating. So now I'm glad you kind of did something that you loved. Um, mm -hmm. Now, in terms of Britain's Got Talent now being over. What is coming next for you both? Is there anything that you can announce or is there anything specific that's coming up soon? Um, it's just now working, like just doing more content now because now we've got the exposure from Britain's Got Talent. It's like, there's no time to just like rest. It's time to get back into work. Um, it's now looking at trying to get us in events, now to network with people, YouTube to come out very soon, vlogs. Um, we definitely want to like go into the industry of like hosting shows, making our own show possibly. But because our personality, we showed it to people, and people can see we're just more than dancers. People will probably look at us into another industry and take us in. So hopefully, that will be like the next move. Yeah, I agree. Just like we're just using BGT as a boost for us, like boosting exposure, and just we're just using that to just branch out into other stuff. Never dancing, like you know, like Romeo said, YouTube and doing events, presenting maybe, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's good that you've got some goals and it's nice to kind of hear they're in different areas as well because you kind of get the best of different worlds. Um, but no, I wish you both the best for the future. I'm sure you'll do great stuff. Uh, thank you, bro. Uh, thank you so much, man. Thank you for your time as well. Oh, no, you're most welcome. It's been great chatting to you and hearing about your experience on the show. I hope everybody who watched this interview also found out a bit more about you both and enjoyed it as well. So I'll see you all very soon for another video. Bye, guys. See you, bro. Uh,